Pruvio reached out to me and asked me to review their four channel dash camera. This dash camera records four different cameras to a single SD card all at once, providing peace of mind and valuable evidence in case of any unforeseen incidents on the road. In the box we get the camera, which is built of an unremarkable plastic. It's not bad, it just feels like budget tech plastic from China. You know the kind I'm talking about. We see on the front it has three adjustable cameras, one designated to face out the front of the windshield, the others for the driver and passenger side of the car from an interior point of view. This is our rear camera, and it comes with plenty of cable to make a run from the rear of the vehicle to the camera unit. It simply plugs into the main unit, and even though it has a power cable to wire it for power, it's not necessary. The main camera unit will provide power to the rear camera simply by plugging it in. Here's the power plug for the car's cigarette lighter. We also have a suction cup mount for your windshield. These are some adhesive mount cable management clips. Here's a pry tool for the car's interior panels so you can easily hide the cables if you so choose. To my surprise, the camera includes a 256 gigabyte micro SD card, which is a nice addition. Here is an additional mounting bracket with adhesive. I'll probably opt for the suction cup mount, but this is a nice option to have. And finally, paperwork. This dash cam unit is powered by a USB mini port, so I was able to plug it into a USB power supply. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes, to show the camera's menu system, and I'm doing this at my own risk. I recommend never using a power source that doesn't come with your tech. But anyway, here's the camera's menu system, and it's fairly intuitive to navigate especially if you're familiar with generic action cams. I do like having the option to configure the camera before installing it into my car, but again, do this at your own risk and I don't recommend using a power supply that didn't come with your camera. Installation was a breeze, thanks to the included suction cup mount. Running the video cable from the rear camera was the most challenging part of the hookup. I can't recommend how to install the rear camera on your vehicle or where to run the cable, as I won't take liability for any damage you potentially do to your own vehicle. But I was able to hide most of my cables behind interior panels and in the roof liner of my vehicle without any problems. The captured camera footage is okay. It will likely get the job done in most scenarios. In the daytime, if you're right behind someone up close at a stop, the camera will be able to identify a license plate, but as people start to pull away at any real safe driving distance, the plates do become unreadable. I would also not count on using the camera to identify anyone at night via a license plate, but it should be able to provide enough information that you can get a rough idea of the make, model, and color of surrounding cars. The interior cameras capture plenty of detail, and if you were to have an incident where you would need to identify someone outside of your vehicle, these cameras could definitely help, even at night. All four cameras also write speed, date, and time to the video file. Just make sure you have your clock set properly on the camera. I was hoping I would be able to use this camera as a backup cam slash supplementary rear view camera for my car as my car is notorious for blind spots, but sadly the viewing monitor is just too small and dim to be of any real use while operating the vehicle in real time. Here's a microphone test for the Pruvio dash cam. I am sitting at a red light right now, not moving, so this is what the audio is going to sound like from the uh, dash cam with no extra highway noise. Here's another microphone test as I'm accelerating from a stop. I'm going to be getting up to about 35 miles per hour, which is about right here. This is what things are going to sound like on a casual drive in town for the built-in microphone of this dash cam. And here is another microphone test for the built-in mic of the Pruvio dash cam. I'm traveling down the highway at about 55 to 60 miles per hour now. Actually, let me correct that. I'm not going down the highway. I'm going down a country road, but at 55 to 60 miles per hour. So there should be some road noise, and this is what the built-in mic is going to sound like for this dash cam. And here's my final microphone test. I'm standing outside the vehicle about where one of those pesky law enforcement ossifers would be standing. It is a little bit windy day out here. Again, this is a microphone test of the built-in mic of this dash cam. Before I wrap up, I would like to point out that Pruvio sent me this camera for free in return for a fair and honest review. 
I'm not at all affiliated with Pruvio, and all opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. As far as my final thoughts, I think the camera can be very valuable in providing a lot of additional details to police or an insurance company in the event of a traffic incident. I do wish it had better detail, better dynamic range, and personally, I wish the monitor were bigger and brighter to make better use of the reverse camera. But I hope I've given you enough information to come to your own conclusion whether or not this dash camera is for you. Thanks for watching.